What's up guys, it's Crazeman Ayo here and I'm bringing you episode number 2 of the Flashpoint show. Basically what this show is about is just me commentating every Sunday, bringing you a commentary every Sunday. So we're just going to go straight into it, I'm bringing you some Saints Row 3 Horde Mode gameplay. And I've done this before and I recorded this a while ago but for a certain commentary that I was going to do but I don't plan on doing it. So. You're just gonna see me play as the cowgirl in Angelo's Casino. Uh, you see that my best wave was 16, and I'm gonna try beat that. So yeah, that's how that's how it's gonna be. Um, basically, basically with these um Sunday night commentaries, it's like I said in last week's episode with the UFC's the UFC gameplay. It's just me like bringing you like different gameplay with me commentating on it every Sunday. I'm still gonna do like the WWE 12 stuff. But um, I just want to, um, you know, be more unique with the commentaries and not just bringing you WWE 12. So, oh yeah, so this is Horde mode. What it is, it's a survival, kind of like a survival mode where you go wave after wave of different enemies on Saints Row. So, as you can see here, you, you can be facing like cookers with, with a shock hammer, others you can be facing gimps um, with dildos, it's just, it's just like a weird array of challenges. So, so yeah, it's, it's a different, you can have like different range of weapons, uh, diff, different challenges, it's just, just weird, as you can see here, I'm, I'm drunk. And I just have to kill these enemies while I'm drunk. It's weird, I'm telling you. So, um, um, of course, I want to bring you talk about something that I I done this past this past week. I don't usually do like these kind of commentaries where I just give you gameplay and I actually talk about like a random topic. So I wanted to you know get do it do that. So um, what I wanted to talk about is what I did this past week, which was work experience. And if you don't know what work experience is for my American viewers, I don't know if you have it like have this kind of stuff there. But basically, what work experience is is um, basically is where you spend like a week or two weeks in where you st come out of school, where you don't go to school for a week, and in return you have to go to work. Like you go to a work a workplace and you know work. So uh, yeah. Um, so it was a, it's a really weird experience and you do it every year 10 class which I am ten, year 10 or 10th grade that everyone does it it's, it's a weird it's a weird experience I can tell you that now so um, so what I did was I had to go to work in a phone shop in North in East Finchley and Finchley is it's like a weird place it's not weird but it's definitely far from what I'm used to because it's not like the area I, I grew up in or the area I live in right now which is Tottenham it's weird because you know every time I say I'm from Tottenham everyone's like oh were you a part of the Tottenham riots like no I was not part of the riots although I was I lived down the road from where the riots started but anyway so I worked in the phone in a phone shop in East Finchley. It's a it's a nice area. It's really, it's a quiet area, and you know it's, it's you know what's weird? The McDonald's headquarters, the headquarters for McDonald's in London, is near my workplace. My workplace is weird. Um, I it's okay. So working in a phone shop, it's not like the greatest job in the world. It's not like, oh, I I get to work with the MI6. It's not something spectacular, but it was a, it was a good experience for me. Um, it's better than working in in Poundland. <laughs> yeah, someone actually got to, had to work in Poundland, where everything costs a pound. Freaking hell, man! So um, yeah, and some of my friends got w weird stuff. Like someone got a computer shop. Someone got Holland and Barretts on Wood Green High Road. It's it's just a really it was a weird experience work. To say the least, work experience is definitely one of the best things about secondary school. And um, so, like I said, working in a phone shop. And of course, you're gonna what see see this gameplay. Game? This part is really quick because I'm just there with a chainsaw destroying zombies. That's what, what the weird thing about the chainsaw in the Saints Row 3. It's like a one it's one hit kill. Literally. But anyway, so I'm working in a phone shop, 
uh, you, I, qu I learned like a num a lot of things from you know working in a phone shop and you know working in general. So um, first thing I can say is, firstly, London transport is a bitch. <laughs> yeah, literally, like waking up early every morning. I had to wake up at like six thirty every morning because it takes like. It takes like 45 minutes to get to the area I was working in, so I, and I had to get there for nine. So it's fucking weird, and and also because it was snowing as well. It was snowing this past week. It's been part, in fact it was snowing like last week as well, and you know so just going out in the cold, uh, covered in in ice, not even snow anymore, ice. It was not a good way to start any morning, and. So yeah, like I said, London transport is a bitch because firstly, you char it charges a lot. Even though I'm 15 and transport should be free, should be free, but I, it's one pound fifty every day, and I, I was expecting it to be a pound every day. So it's just stealing your money. And when and I know when you get older, you probably have to spend like, like 20 pounds on a travel card on your travel card. I'm like, I'm just thinking. If I have to do that every morning to work, then I might as well just get a car. But I know paying for a car will be even worse. So anyway, like I said, London Transport's a bitch. And, it, and the thing is, I took train because I did not want to take bus. But no, taking bus to Finchley. No. So literally, I had to take train. And the train in the morning, like, wow, everyone's going to work. So it's just packed. Like, like in some cases I'll be able to steal a seat from someone like in your face <laughs> I'm not going to give you this seat because I fought for this seat but you know in other times when there's no seats and you have to stand and yeah, it's just you know, packed like everyone is standing so you can you have barely any breathing room and you can't read the metro the newspaper that you want to read that's in your hand because it's so packed and oh vagina to the face oh I know you enjoyed it oh there's the quick tea bag and crouch down there's the shot anyway as I was saying yeah transport in London is a bitch so um what also what else I learned I learned um Amy Winehouse you know the um, singer that actually died like last year late last year uh, you know who sang trying to make me go to you hell I say no 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 yeah I broke down in his song weird but anyway so yeah she actually lived down the road from where my workplace was which is actually really cool and yeah <laughs> essentially I remember my boss saying um she went she came to the shop one day and said she had a problem with her computer and she's like oh can you um, can you come to my house you know to help me fix it and this is what my boss actually said he said and I quote I said no because I ain't going to your house to fix your computer. I I ain't a fucking house service. That was his exact words. <laughs> and uh, wow, it's just great to hear that. And because it's Finchley, it's a really quiet area, a uh, white man area, as I like to call it. Um, quite a few celeb, quite a few like known London English celebrities live there. Okay, not known known, but like people know of them. Like um, Chipmunk, the rap, the um quote rapper I say quote rapper because he's turned into a pop star recently but yeah chipmunk um, comes there every so often comes into the shop um, he gets his tattoos done like down the road from the shop um, um, quite a few EastEnders stars actually live around that area um, one of them one of the older ones that are not really there anymore actually came to get her phone fixed or, and to get a new phone I uh, don't remember who it was though I don't remember her name Maybe I need I need to Google that. But yeah, and also learned I definitely learned working in a phone shop is not what it's all cracked up to be. Like you just go in there, like if your phone's that fucked, you just fine. go in there. Like yeah, I want I want you to fix my phone now, or else I'm gonna call the police and all that shit. And you know, like this whole week, even though I didn't get to do a lot of stuff, I didn't even get to sell a phone. But even though this past week. I learned that working in a phone shop is not what it's cracked up to be because it's all these orders and fixing the phone and if you get something wrong someone's going to get annoyed and try to take you to court. Literally a, a woman whose phone was fucked up, 
because of um, water damage. She was like calling every day, like, "Oh, if you don't fix my phone, I'm gonna call the police and and take you to court and all that crap." And um, okay, okay. By the way, this um, yeah. So that was work experience for me. Yeah. And oh yeah, I forgot got, got to say this commentary is gonna be in two parts. This um gameplay of the horde mode, the horde mode gameplay is gonna be in two parts. So um. Yeah, I just want to say work experience is a weird thing, man. And I've definitely gone over on this commentary, but uh, I just want to say, what if you? I don't want to work. Like when I get older, I do not want to work, but I just have to. So um, thanks for this for listening to my weird rambling on. Comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me about if you've done done work experience. Tell me about your experience with it, and um. Flipping out. This has been a weird commentary. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more WWE 12 videos and the Flashpoint coming next week. Peace out, guys.